Good Monday morning, Vital Men. It's good to be with you today. You know, one of the teaching series that we're on now is about King David and about where he is in his life. He has just now been anointed by Samuel. He is now, a, he's a young man. He's a, somewhere the age around 16 years old. And his father sends him, it says in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 16 and 17, he sends him off to go see the battlefront that's going on with Saul and his other three older brothers. Well, David, he goes and he, his father sends some food and some provisions to go along with him. And then David's there and he's overwhelmed by, because on one hill they have the Israelite army and then on the other hill is the Philistine army and there's a great battle that's ready to wage but they got this giant by the name of Goliath who comes out and taunts Israel wanting one man. One man can finish this that will fight me and whoever wins takes the day. Well Israel and all the men are scared including King Saul. So David comes and I love what this portion when he says he goes he hears the taunting of Goliath and he goes who is this uncircumcised Philistine that defies the living God and he's ready to fight and go to battle and we're going to talk about that more this next week but as men we've got the same thing we got these voices we got these things that taunt us in the midst of our day things that tell us of who we're not and and we don't serve the living God but we serve a God that you cannot see and today is the day for men to be warriors men who are willing to come to the battlefield in the forefront for the protection of their their relationship with God himself, their protection of the relationship for their family, and, the ref and the, also, to the defense and the battling that we need to do as a nation. Men, we need warriors. We need godly men who are ready to take the field like David without relent, that's ready to fight. Vital men, I encourage you, look for the strength and the courage that King David had and be the warrior you're called to be. We'll see you next week.